टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू पोस्टीरियर एबडोमिनल वॉल एबडोमिनल वॉल विच इन सर्कल द एबडोमिनल कैविटी इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू डैट इज एंटेरोलैट्रल वॉल एंड पोस्टीरियर वॉल एंटेरोलैट्रल वॉल विच गिवस प्रोटेक्शन टू द एबडोमिनल कैविटी फ्रॉम द एंटेरोलैट्रल आस्पेक्ट एंड इट कंप्राइज ऑफ थ्री मसल डैट इज एक्सटर्नल ऑब्लिक एबडोमिनिस internal oblique abdomen is and transversal abdomen is where is the posterior wall give protection to the abdominal cavity from the posterior aspect and it comprises of again three muscle that is the psoas major quadratus lumborum and iliacus and in 50% individual there is one more muscle that is psoas minor a psoas major and one more psoas minor just to memorize the posterior abdominal wall muscle p q i p q i p q i that is why you have uh, taken drink drinking is not allowed p q i even the um, the large amount or minor uh, the less amount major or minor but you should not drink p q i now posterior abdominal wall it holds a special value as it gives bed to rest on various retroperitoneal organ and retroperitoneal organ the mnemonic is sad pucker as for suprarenal gland a for abdominal aorta and inferior vena cava d for second and third part of the duodenum p for pancreas except tell p then comes u u for ureter c for colon ascending and descending pucker k for kidneys E for esophagus, R for rectum. Now coming to the muscles of posterior abdominal wall. P Q I. First, come to iliacus. This is iliacus muscle in blue color. It takes origin from the upper two third of the iliac fossa. This is. hip bone the iliac part and this is iliac crest and here is the iliac fossa upper two third of the iliac fossa it takes origin and where is going to insert lesser trochanter of femur this in dotted line i have shown the femur bone this is greater trochanter here is the lesser trochanter so iliacus muscle get inserted onto the lesser trochanter okay now nerve supply is the femoral nerve and axon is flexor and medial rotator of thigh all the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall are flexors and here it also the medial rotator as it is inserting on the medial aspect not on the lateral aspect medial aspect so medial rotator of the thigh now coming to the second muscle quadratus lumborum here in green color this is the quadratus lumborum it takes origin from the posterior 5 cm of the internal lip of iliac crest this is iliac crest this is here is the outer lip and this one is the inner lip so from the inner lip the posterior 5 cm here from it takes origin the hip bone gives origin to many muscle okay so we can say every muscle except psoas minor quadratus lumborum origin posterior 5 cm of internal lip of iliac crest insertion it is inserting lower border of the 12th rib plus apex of transverse process of l1 to l4 vertebra inserting on lower border of the 12th rib here is the 12th vertebra and this is the rib 
and lower border this is upper border and this is lower border the half of the medial side the lower border okay and also there is here is the transverse process apex of the transverse process of l1 l2 l3 l4 okay it is inserting here and takes origin from the inner lip inner lip of the iliac crest posterior 5 cm quadratus lumborum now the nerve supply is as it is going to insert here so the ventral rami of ventral rami of t12 l1 l2 l3 l4 as they are going there so taking nerve supply from there axon all these muscles are present at both side okay so if unilateral one side muscle contract it will lead to lateral flexion of the lumbar spine and when bilaterally it it depresses the thoracic rib cage and if unilateral contraction is there it will lead to lateral flexion of the lumbar spine now coming to soas major this in orange color this is soas major it takes origin from the the lateral surface of the body of t12 l1 l2 l3 l4 this is body of the vertebra and lateral surface of the body of vertebra from t12 l1 l2 l3 l4 as well as from the intervertebral disc intervening intervertebral disc okay it takes origin from here and going to insert same as the iliacus that is the lesser trochanter of femur okay and it is supplied by the ventral rami of here is the soas major origin insertion lesser trochanter femur nerve supply ventral rami of l1 to l3 here is the ventral rami of t12 l1 l2 l3 l4 quadratus lumborum and but here is the ventral rami of only l1 l2 l3 and axon is flexion of hip joint axon is from where the muscle is crossing the uh, the joint it will lead to uh, act upon that joint on the anterior aspect or you can say the flexor aspect so flexor of the hip joint now coming to soas minor even though it is present in only 50% cases or is it this red one the lateral surface of t12 okay and the disc below intervening disc below it okay and it is going to insert over the pectineal line and the iliopubic eminence on the hip bone iliac part of the hip bone on the internal aspect iliopubic eminence and the pectineal line is the soas minor lateral surface of the body of t12 and l1 an intervening this pectineal line and iliopubic eminence nerve supply is the ventral rami of l1 because it is rising from here only t12 l1 so ventral rami of l1 and this is the weak flexor of lumbar spine now coming to the content of posterior abdominal wall that is sat pucker but we will not uh, write Uh, about all these thing only the important one that is a a for abdominal aorta and the inferior vena cava associated nerve and lymph node now coming to abdominal aorta one of the content of the post abdominal wall it is the continuation of the thoracic aorta entry via the aortic opening of the diaphragm at the level of t12 position it lies in front of the vertebral column but on the left side slightly left and extension t12 to l4 all these things are very important and the branches branches are decided from which it, and the aspect it is arising that the ventral branches 
coming from the ventral aspect ventral or anterior same thing ventral aspect from the lateral aspect from dorsolateral dorso means posterior posterolateral or dorsolateral and the terminal branches branches are divided on this basis according to the position ventral or anterior lateral going to the viscera that's why also called visceral dorsolateral going to the body wall that's why also known as parietal branches and terminal ventral branches are celiac artery superior mesenteric artery and the inferior mesenteric artery coming from the entry aspect celiac superior mesenteric and inferior mesenteric the lateral branches are gonadal from below this gonadal renal and the middle suprarenal in green color i am showing in this picture dorsolateral or parietal it is inferior phrenic artery and the lumbar artery the four lumbar artery here in brown color this is inferior phrenic and 1 2 3 4 four lumbar artery from the dorsolateral aspect and the terminal branches are this two common iliac artery and the in the middle this is median median sacral artery this is two in number and this is one in number okay just for memorizing if suppose abdominal aorta is a, a small girl named sasi so i will write down her name on its anterior aspect sasi anterior branch c s i spelling of sasi is csi that is celiac superior mesenteric inferior mesenteric on the lateral aspect that is the arm is on the lateral aspect and it is uh, says holding garam chapati huh? garam chapati that's why garam on the lateral branches are garam that is gonadal r for renal m for middle suprarenal just for memorizing on the lateral the arm is situated that's why the lateral branches garam and dorsolateral means deeply seated sasi sasi is very nice girls very kind hearted girl uh, there is deeply seated love ilu i l u ilu means love the deeply seated love that's why she is holding this garam chapati in her hand okay and the terminal terminal branches that terminal are what these two uh, uh, limbs the lower limbs says coming by uh, via the lower limb that's why the terminal branches are come c o m e c o for common iliac and the median sacral just to memorize okay and the inferior vena cava coming to the inferior vena cava This formation is by the fusion of two common iliac vein, exit channel via the vena cava opening at the diaphragm at the level of T eight. Position in front of the vertebral column, same as that of the abdominal aorta, but on the slightly on the right side. Extension is T eight to L five. And the tributary, the same as that of abdominal aorta. ventral lateral branches dorsal lateral and the terminal but here the ventral are the hepatic veins not like celiac superior mesenteric inferior mesenteric here is the hepatic vein that is the right hepatic vein left hepatic vein and the middle hepatic vein on the lateral aspect not garam lateral aspect is holding uh, garam chapati but here is the uh, am for middle suprarenal artery but in case of vein there is only one vein suprarenal vein that's why gonadal vein renal vein and the suprarenal vein gonadal and the suprarenal only the right one are opening into the inferior vena cava where is the left gonadal and the left suprarenal vein opens into the left renal vein this is very very important in the dorsolateral from the dorsolateral Uh, the, it is receiving which tributaries that is the ilu the deeply seated love inferior phrenic and the lumbar vein only three third and fourth where is the first and second draining into the ascending lumbar vein 
and the terminal that is the same as that of abdominal water common iliac vein and the median sacral vein okay the lymph node lymph node lies so arranged that this is external iliac this is internal iliac so along the external iliac artery not vein external iliac artery then common iliac artery and then abdominal aorta located along external iliac common iliac and the abdominal aorta artery okay nerve of the posterior abdominal wall it is subcostal nerve and the lumbar plexus subcostal nerve is what it is the ventral rami of t12 spinal nerve where is the lumbar plexus is formed by the union of ventral rami of l1 to l4 spinal nerve now coming to clinical significance it is pia pia p i a so as abscess inferior venal cover vena cavella obstruction and aortic aneurysm first coming to soas abscess soas abscess is what the seat over the soas major muscle this is in orange color this is soas major muscle the seat over it is the soas seat and when there is tubercular infection of this vertebra it trickle down laterally because anteriorly there is anterior longitudinal ligament so it doesn't progress anteriorly it comes out the caseous necrosis of tuberculous infection of these vertebra will lead to pus formation which trickle down laterally and it comes uh, behind the soas seat and that's why it is known as soas abscess tubercular infection of the thoracolumbar vertebra lead to abscess which trickle laterally under soas seat which is known as soas abscess second one is the inferior vena cava compression which is commonly by the enlarged uterus during the last trimester of pregnancy and second cause is causes the malignant retroperitoneal tumor okay which will lead to vena cava compression and what happen after that this will lead to opening of some channels which normally remain closed what will open that it will present clinically as in last subcutaneous thoracolumbar vein thoracolumbar vein is the communicating channel in between the lateral thoracic vein and the superficial epigastric vein lateral thoracic vein is the tributary of axillary vein where is the superficial epigastric vein is the tributary of the femoral vein from below it is from the femoral vein one vein is coming out that is the superficial epigastric vein and from the axillary vein one vein is coming down that is the lateral thoracic vein and both join and form the thoracolumbar vein this channel will open up due to the compression of vena cava now third one is the aortic aneurysm it is the localized dilatation of the abdominal aorta 1.5 times than the normal then only it is known as aortic aneurysm and in 95% cases what will be the position below the renal artery below the origin of the renal artery okay this is abdominal aorta and here is the renal artery so below the origin of the renal artery this portion get dilated and that is known as abdominal aortic aneurysm okay and the most common cause is atherosclerosis and it is usually seen in elderly men and it will present clinically as expansile and pulsatile mass it is expanded and pulsate where pulsate where you can feel the pulsation just superior and left to the umbilicus so this is about the clinical significance and the content are sac pucker and the muscles of the posterior abdominal wall so this is all about the posterior abdominal wall thank you